Well, hello. Hello. Where are we, Eric? Las Vegas. We are in Vegas for the sixth annual USN Knife Show. So we're the here. Gathering. The gathering. So we just landed in the Vegas airport and let's go find some trouble to get into. Uh, Nice. Hey Eric, so tell me what you're totally doing one of these years. Um... Um... I'm gonna drive a race car. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard about this place quite a bit and seen videos of it, but yeah, I've always wanted to. Where are those two fans going? Now we're in a relatively quiet section of strip right here. Uh, we've been walking for the past few hours just looking at everything. Um, Eric here, the single one, is working on his eye contact <laughs> skills. So you'll see a cute girl walking and just try to like make her look away first. It, it's hard work for a shy redhead. <laughs> is it working for you yet? Not yet, not no, at all. No, maybe not. But this place is hot and crazy and Always interesting. Alright guys, so it's the morning of day two. I found a nice little quiet spot on the grass out here. It's about 8 a.m. I was up wide awake at 6.30 a.m. I don't know why. Um, but I got a solid five hours of sleep, which is okay. And uh, yeah, Eric and I, this is, so this is day two. Eric and I were up until 1.30 local time, which is like 4.30 our time. Um, last night, uh, just hanging out with everybody and seeing all kinds of crazy cool stuff. I, I don't think I filmed anything in the, uh, the after party, the cove, but um, tonight I'll try to get some filming in there. It's so dark. It, it's hard to even see with my own eyes, yet alone with the camera, so I'll see what I can do. But yeah, today starts the first official day of the show, and I uh, can't wait to get in and just cruise around. Um, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but this show, it's my fourth time here, but it's... I'm going to do it a little bit differently because we decided not to get a table this year and not to bring anything to sell. So we're just going to cruise. We're going to meet people, mingle, meet our customers, meet our suppliers, and just not have any stress about it. Because um, when you're stuck behind a table the whole time, you know, it, it's not stressful, but it's time consuming and it's nice to just be able to walk around. And it's, it's sometimes stressful if you don't sell everything because you want to sell everything. Um, so yeah, we're just going to cruise and have a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll get a lot of good footage because we're not stuck behind a table. So once Eric gets up, then uh, we'll mosey our way to the show. Alright, so this is the beginning of day two, and uh, we're just walking into the show right now. Like, the show yesterday was pretty awesome because we, we didn't have a table, so we're just walking around, talking to people the whole time, shaking hands, and meeting new contacts, and having a general blast. I, I got nothing, again. Lame.
Oh, well, we do sell bearings. Everybody grab it for you real quick. with the butterfly knives and flip them around and help turn this thing into an extreme sport because it certainly has the potential. It's just so cool. It's like mesmerizing. Yeah. It's, it's really just zen-like real estate. Yeah. <laughs> Meditating, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you're into this kind of stuff, definitely check out. <laughs> Perfect. My subscribers, you know? This is Eric's face when he sees something he really likes. No, that's a scared face. This is a Tashi and Andre Van Heerden uh, collab with Rose Pattern Damasteel. Like, holy crap. Zerk, uh, zirconium, lightning strike carbon fiber. Smooth as... What's smooth? Smooth as a grim smell. <laughs> smooth? They're almost... So, I mean, it might shift when you get there, you tighten it a little bit, and 
indoors. This is all inside. It's weird. It's like midnight. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we're at the show, the end of the second day. I haven't, haven't filled them anything today, but uh, we're here with Mr. Liam Cooley. <laughs> yeah. Cooley Custom Knives. The man himself. The man, the myth, the legend. That's the, uh, the partial satin I ran out of sandpaper finish. Stop talking bad about yourself. <laughs> this is your first finished knife. Yeah. Your first, first you know... First finish. Not 100% functional, no, but, but... Dude, it's amazing. Good. Thanks. I got it upside down, don't I? There, now it's upright. There we go. Nice close. All handmade, like... Yeah, I cut that out with a, a hacksaw, a dremel, and a bandsaw. That's so awesome. All at the same time. <laughs> all at once? No, no, not all at the same you got time. Three I mean, like, all, all on the one knife, which took a long time to do. That's pretty awesome. Man. Yeah, I did these beads, too. Oh, that's sweet. They look great. I did those on the lathe at school. Well, they look pretty good. It's really hard to, to drill titanium. Alright, so we're sitting here hanging out with Mr. Deshorn from South Africa. And not only is this one of the coolest knives that we've seen at the show, it actually won probably uh, most unique design because it's insanely epic. Insane. Right. Insane. It's beautiful. It's got awesome milling, damn steel blade, of course. Wicked inlays, but that's not the coolest part. It is a dual action automatic. What do you do? Is it but I didn't even realize for the first few minutes that it was an automatic because it works it's like so a regular seamless. knife. You hear it quick? Okay, close close like a regular knife. Open it like a regular knife. Totally normal. Gentleman's slip folder kind of. And there's hidden magic in there to make it an automatic. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so cool. And just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, Some of these desk horn knives, man, they're just so insanely beautiful. That one's so oh, great. Do you want me to be the hands? Yeah. It doesn't reset it. How about you film? Here, it's just fine. I'll film. Is, is it going? Yeah. There's no pivot, there's no screws, there's no nothing. It's held together with magic and pixie dust. <laughs> and gold. Oh, like that. <laughs> he also has a Tormac. So, can you reset the spring? Oh, I'm making a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. wonder what that inlay is. It's probably oh, that mammoth tooth this. stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's it's and it's a back lock. That one's gorgeous. This one also, that one. Film it right. What's the inlay on that one, Eric? Some sort of wood? Yeah. Oh, I was getting your hand. And there's little gold pins around his name. Oh, around his name. Shadow. Uh, there we go. I think you can see him now. Yeah. Smile, you're on candid camera. Oh boy. <laughs> this is your first. This is my first functional folder, second folder. And it flips. It's amazing. With your thumb. James Fernandez, he's going to be huge. The next Chris Reeve. <laughs> Sorry. You can't say those kind of things in front of another South African banker. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful wife, Elena. No, I want to know. Always a schoolboy. Perfect.